applying for a temporary resident permit? Well, that, if that's the case, this is the video for you. A temporary resident permit is exactly that. It's a temporary permit for you to overcome a inadmissibility. Most of our clients, when they contact us for a TRP, they're inadmissible due to some criminal uh, record. In order to apply for a temporary resident permit, there's two ways of doing so. Either we can submit the application at the consulate and wait the extensive processing times of about eight months, or we can attempt at the port of entry, hope, uh, just it, considering that you actually have um, a visa to enter Canada or you come from a visa exempt country. So for example, if you're an American, you can attempt at the port of entry. And if you're an Indian national, if you don't have a TRV, then you would have to file um, at the consulate. However, most of our clients are American citizens who are inadmissible to Canada. So this particular video would really be addressed to them. Um, if you're looking at coming to Canada, you're, you have to make sure that there's a few things you include in your TRP application. Not only the facts that the officers want, such as what is the criminality, what's the offense, what were you charged with, what were you convicted of, um, what did you have to complete, all of that facts needs to be included. But also you have to look at as to why you're trying to temporarily enter Canada. That piece of document is vital as well. If it's leisure, you have to demonstrate that you know you're coming to visit this person or this family member or you're coming for a fishing trip or whatever it is you have to provide documentation to demonstrate your intent in Canada. If it's business include employment uh, offer letter or a business visitor letter or some sort of indication that you are employed in, in the United States but you have to travel for business into Canada. In addition you want to make sure that um, you put everything together and you file regardless if it's an immediate travel date to Canada, you file it to the consulate regardless. Meaning if you're still going to go to the port of entry to get an urgent TRP, before you travel, make sure you still file it at the consulate. And the reason why I recommend this is because when you go to the port of entry, the officer would want to see that you've taken necessary steps uh, to get a temporary resident permit at the consulate. So essentially when you go there, you tell the officer that you've done all the necessary steps, the application is submitted, include a tracking number and so forth, but this urgent travel date came up and you cannot wait the extensive processing time. This shows not only that you've been proactive, but it shows good character on your part as well. If you have questions about the temporary resident permit or you're looking at assist us assisting you with the application, give us a call today. We're here to help. Thank you and until next time.